Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creative Art. My name is Dilma and today we are going to paint this cute little Charmander watercolor painting. If you are a Pokemon fan, please do watch Bulbasaur watercolor painting and Pikachu watercolor painting so that you can make your own collection of Pokemon watercolor paintings. All the materials required to make this watercolor painting are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video. To copy this image, please click on the link www.creativearthome.com So enjoy painting friends. Here friends, first of all, I'm going to list out all the materials which we are going to require for watercolor painting. I use Camlin Artist watercolors it's a pack of 18 shades okay and second uh, most important thing is watercolor paper so there are two quality of paper i use first is brusto it is best for wet on wet technique brusto artist watercolor paper from 25% uh, cotton to 100% cotton all kinds are available from creative hands and second i use chitrapat handmade watercolor paper sheet block always select a paper or a block which is quite heavier and and try to use paper made from 100% cotton fiber and which is acid free. It is best for watercolor painting. This is Chitrapa drawing paper blocks and this is how it looks. It's a complete block of paper and you'll require a very clean white palette for watercolor painting. I specifically use two bowls, one for washing brushes and second for clean water. And for watercolor painting, I use a flat brush, very soft hair, two Sibyl hair brush, number six and number eight. Uh, number six is a flat hair brush and number eight is a round hair brush. One pencil for drawing, a black marker, sometimes I use for cartoon makings. And one very long hair, thin hair brush, number one. Okay, and one more important fluid I use for watercolor paintings are watercolor masking fluid masking tape, eraser, and most of the times I always use paper napkins. So let's start. So first for our Charmander watercolor painting, this is a sketching I have made and we are going to use these colors. Lemon yellow, Kimbor hue, permanent orange, vermilion hue, yellow orchid. These are the colors for his body and sap green and cobalt blue hue for his eyes and magenta somewhere for giving a bit dark effect for shadows or for the background okay and first of all i'm going to use uh, some masking fluid for covering his white eye using some masking fluid in my thin long hair brush i'll just cover the eye part and please do shake well your masking fluid before you use it wash your brush immediately after you have covered the part with masking fluid okay otherwise it will spoil your brush okay, so let it get dry for a few seconds friends using masking tape i'm going to secure all the four sides of the paper so friends here i have prepared my palette and I have poured yellow orchid, lemon yellow, gambor hue, vermilion hue and permanent orange and we'll be starting from the top mix a very light quantity of yellow then take a wide bit of orange Taking a bit of warm in you. I'm using your a bit sap green to give this part a dark shade.
Now I have taken some sap green to give this part a bit darker shade. So in my palette you can see that I have taken some amount of sap green. I'll mix it very clean like water and now we'll start coloring the eye part which is very important. Okay, so the eye part is complete now. Now, using a black marker, we'll start lining the boundaries wherever we find it. Pupils, you can see that our charmander is finally completed so we'll just paint some background part first so here i have taken some fiery green color and i'm just tapping it around wash my brush take some water splash this water okay now we'll take some sand green color Tap it. And then my napkin, it will absorb all the extra water. Now we are going to color in this part using some magenta. And magenta, I think it should be mixed with some cobalt blue. Now 
wash my brush. Now I'll use some yellow and place it so I'm going to put this fire. Wash my breath, have a lot of water surrounding it. Just putting it up using my masking. So here it is, finally we're going to remove the masking tape which we have placed on Simply remove it without tearing any part of paper. Okay, so because of that, your painting looks much more bright. So friends, here is finally our Charmander watercolor painting finally completed. So I'll remove all the four secure sides of the masking tape. Here friends, this is how our watercolor painting looks when it has got completed and this is the final look of it. Please do tell me in the comments below how did you find it and if you did like this video friends, please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.